The Ale Hounds are an acoustic duo from New Haven who are known for their unique blend of Irish, Scottish, and American folk and rock music. Gary McConney and Sean Conlon join me now. Gary likes to go by Chops. Let's I see. wonder why. I, I like pork. <laughs> it's, it's pretty clear. Like that and lamb chops. We spend a lot of time in the kitchen later on. <laughs> All right, so guys, this is a busy time of year for you. Tell me a little bit about your music. Well, we, we play primarily uh, Irish folk songs, um, some rock and roll music, but mostly uh, almost entirely Irish uh, traditional songs. Now, Gary, how'd you guys uh, meet up, come together? It was about a year ago. I, uh, I was really kind of looking for a new project musically to do, and uh, I, I was playing with a couple other local artists, and uh, I saw Sean play music once, and I said, you know, he's really good, but I think he could probably use something to go along with his guitar. <laughs> he needed so, a little help, is that what you're saying? No, 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 I just think that my mandolin would have complimented his music very well. Got so, it. And then, uh, so we got together and said, hey, let's, let's, uh, let's get together. And we said, the first gig, I'll sit in on a couple songs just to see how it was, and I ended up sitting in on the whole gig, and, and the rest just is about history, the whole night. And so, right. well, we, we really meshed pretty well, so Tell we decided about, to go with it, you know? I'm, and I'm glad you did. Tell me yeah. about some of your uh, musical influences. Um, well, I mean, if influences, I guess, uh, for as far as we're concerned, I, mean, I would say uh, the Clancy Brothers, Bob Dylan, um, the Dubliners, the Dubliners, mm -hmm. things like the that. The Pogues. <laughs> All right, very good. And you have some upcoming appearances where people right. can see you. Let's talk about those. In fact, uh, we can put the information up on the screen. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, one of, the, uh, one of your busy days of the year, would you say? Yeah. It is. <laughs> All right. We'll be very tired on Sunday. I'm sure you will. 10 a.m. You're going to be at McCoy's Pub in Stratford. 4.30, Dunn's Pub in Hamden. 8.30, the playwright also in Hamden. So what are you going to play for us today? Our first song is actually an old, really old Dublin street ballad called Tim Finnegan's Wake. All right. The a, Ale Hounds. Oh, it's a proud, cloud, pr pr excuse me, crowd pleaser. <laughs> Take so, it away. Hope I don't mess up the song now. <laughs> Tim Finnegan lived in Botland Street, the gentle Irishman, mighty yard. Had a beautiful brogue, so rich and sweet, and to rise in the world he carried a heart. To see it a sort of a tippling way, with a love for liquor for Tim was born. To help him on with his work each day, to drop of the crater every morn. Back for the rabbi, dance to your partner round the floor, you chugger shake. Isn't it the truth I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake? One morning Tim was rather full and his head felt heavy which made him shake. He fell from a ladder and he broke his skull and they carried him home his corpse to wake. They rolled him up in a nice clean sheet and laid him out upon the bed. A gallon of whiskey at his feet and a barrel of porter at his head. Whack for your daughter, you dance to your partner round the floor, your troller shake. Isn't it the truth I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake? Well, his friends assembled at the wake, and Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch. First she brought in tea and cakes, then pipes, tobacco and brandy punch. Biddy O'Brien began to cry, such a nice clean corpse did you ever see. Tim of Horn, and why did you die? And hold your gob, says Paddy Murky. Back for your daughter, dance to your partner, round the floor, your trotter shake. Isn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's wake. O'Connor took up the job, and Biddy, she says, you're wrong, I'm sure. Betty gave her a belt on the cob and left us sprawling on the floor. Then the ward, it soon engaged, was woman to woman and man to man. Shillelagh law was all the rage, and a row and a ruction soon began. Back for your daughter, dance to your partner, round the floor, your troller shake. Isn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. Well, Mickey Maloney ducked his head when a bottle of whiskey flew at him. It listed falling on the bed and the liquor scattered over Tim. Tim revives, see how he rises, Timothy rising from the bed. Said, whirl your whiskey round like blazes, tell him and nail, do you think I'm dead? 
back for your dive out and stay a partner around the floor. Your trotter shake isn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. Hey, back for your dive out and stay a partner around the floor. Your trotter shake isn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. <laughs> We're back in the kitchen, ready to eat this fabulous food that Tony's made us. Look at this beautiful plate. Well, cut it up because I want to try Let's some, Tony. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. And we have Paulo here, too. As well as Christina. Christina, again, tell us when your documentary is airing. We're, we're screening it at the Round Hill Church in Greenwich, Connecticut this, this Friday, Friday night. It starts at what 5 time? 5.30. 5.30. 30. Very good. Come and see it. Doesn't that look great? Here, really we'll good. hold this down for you, Tony. Very hungry. There you go. <laughs> need, well, I want to dig in. You guys all right, we, of course, want to thank all of our guests, Tony, as well as Christina Lee Copeland and Paolo, who are with, here with us. Paolo always makes a guest appearance. Yeah. I love it. There you go. And we want to send it back to the Ale Hounds. They're going to play us out to the end of the song. They're going to play Leaving for Liverpool. Right. Here we go. Let's we try it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take, Take it, it away. Bon appetit. Paolo.